Hi guys, welcome back to Tarot Makes It Up. I am incredibly lucky to have my lovely friend and quite frankly, my muse, my new muse, um, Kristen in the studio with me today. Um, today we are doing kind of like a more is more look. I feel like you've seen her with her gorgeous boy beat and kind of very natural how I do editorial skin, which I will link down to below if you haven't already seen. But one of my favorite makeup moments uh, that I kind of really remember is um, Lucia Pica's creation for Chanel when she created the, I think it was called the collection number one, which was all about red and rouge. Um, and I actually got to assist uh, Lucia Pica way back when um, when I was in London. So that was amazing when I was first starting out as a makeup artist and she is literally a makeup genius. So I've always loved that campaign. For me, I feel like whenever I work with Kristen, we always both say how much we love a red eye on her. So we thought we would do a little homage, but also a nice way to kind of go from nothing makeup to more is more um, and just show how, you know, there really are no rules with makeup. Just have fun with it. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy this look. So I've just prepped Kristen's skin already with a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury um, Light Wonder Foundation. We've used um, a little bit of shade four and shade six, and I've just buffed that through with the Refor um, buffing brush. This is 04, which I really love for foundation, guys. Traditionally, you know I like two brushes. I tend to kind of apply them buff with another, but this just makes everything a bit more seamless and quicker. And we just put a little bit of the Bobbi Brown um, Vitamin Enrich Face Cream underneath to give a bit of glow. Um, I'm going to prep the eyes first with a bit of NARS Pro Prime. Um, I think when I'm using a really intense hue, I do like to prime the eyes first. Um, but with eye primers, you do want to let them set. I think if you go in straight away with an eyeshadow, then you'll find it kind of sticks and grabs a little bit. So just give it a good little a minute or so to set down. Okay, so then I'm taking M Cosmetics. This is the um, brow cream in Brunette. And again, I can just do this, so I let the eye primer have a bit of time to dry. Kristen has incredible brows, so we're just giving a bit of shape, a little bit of extra volume as well. I find this does give a nice bit of pigment. So the palette I'm gonna work with is this one by Huda. This is the Ruby Obsessions palette. So this is a really nice one. It kind of leans more towards kind of like pinky reds and true reds. Um, the Chanel palette, I think they originally used for the campaign, is still available to buy, which is really exciting because I think for a while it was completely sold out and then came back in stock. So obviously you could use the Chanel one as well, but um, this one is slightly more affordable. So I'm gonna start with this shade. So I'm just starting with this all over the lid. Um, just building up quite a bit of pigment, keeping it quite close to the lash line. And I'm going kind of as far as I would say, um, kind of to the socket. So then I leave a bit of room to kind of blend up, up and out. And then I'm taking a clean brush. And at this point, you just want to kind of do little circles. You do want a good bit of pressure if you're um, blending out a powdered pigment or a powder shadow. And just keep buffing until you kind of got the desired amount. And that's just your first layer. So you just want to cover the lid first. So now we're gonna take this one, which is um, a slightly deeper, more truer red. Um, and we're gonna take that through the socket and more into the center of the lid as well. Um, I think it is nice having the pink underneath, the kind of pinky red first, because you get more of a gradient. And I think it looks more intense when you then lay, lay other colors on top. And then this brush is really, really nice. This is like a really soft pony brush. This is from Laura Mercier and it has more of a point on, so it's really good to get right into the inner corner, but still keep things soft. And you can kind of use this like a proper wash over the eyelid. Love the colors that come in. And I'm actually going quite high up sort of towards the brow because I feel like as long as you've got most of the pigment on the center of the lid and lower to the lash line, you'll get more of a soft gradient anyway. And you don't have to be so specific as to what your shape is. I'm just following Kristen's natural eye shape. And then I'm taking a little bit of that red eyeshadow, the brighter, more true red into the lower lash line as well. And just keeping that quite close to the lash line and just tracing it underneath. So now to give a little bit of depth to the eyes, I'm gonna take the Urban Decay Glide On Pencil 24 seven in Alkaline. This is a really beautiful like maroon, just look up for me, it's sort of like a burgundy deep wine red. And we're gonna take that into the waterline. So from that same palette, I'm just now taking the darker shade. This is a matte maroon. And I'm just taking a little bit of that, if you close for me, just into the socket to give a little bit of added depth. And 
it just brings a little bit more kind of plum into the red. So I'm going to, I'm just kind of taking my brush that's got no product on just to make sure everything's blended still underneath, um, see if I need any concealer anywhere, but they really didn't fall down too badly actually and I feel like using the tissue underneath just helps out a little bit more. I feel like to offset this kind of eye you do need black mascara, I think it looks cool without it, but I, this look is called more is more, so we need some black mascara. Okay, so I'm going to take Maybelline Snap Mascara, you can have this one when I finish with it, <laughs> I look right down for me honey. And we're just gonna give a nice thick black lash, which I think really helps offset against the red eye. So I'm just taking a fan brush because obviously we use quite a lot of powder shadows. You find the powder tends to kind of collect in the top of the lashes. So if you look down for me, Kristen, I'm just gonna wiggle this right up to the roots so we get a properly black lash on top as well, which I think really helps like the pinky reds pop Okay, and I'm gonna do a little bit underneath on the lower lashes. Just look down for me a sec. Yeah, check those dry. And I'm just gonna do, again, I find these brushes are really good if you've used colorful shadows, just to kind of reach over the top so you don't get any on the eyeshadow. So then I'm just gonna add a bit of this Makeup Revolution Concealer. This is their new one. This is Conceal and Hydrate, which has um, hyaluronic acid and acai in. So, so it's gonna give us a nice amount of radiance. Um, I'm going to use C5 and I'm just going to buff a little bit of that under the eyes just to give a little bit of brightness. I think the key really to making a kind of really bold colourful eyeshadow look modern is just playing the skin down, just keep it really as natural looking as you can get away with. So obviously if you need coverage by all means use it but just think about where you're actually adding coverage um, and try and keep it sheer where you can. And I just find as well, like with a concealer, taking it a tiny bit along the tops of the cheekbones just here. Again, you don't really need any highlighter then. It just buffs it all for you. And then I'm just going to quickly go back to the brush that had the red eyeshadow on. Just look up for me, just to make sure it's still nice and soft under the eye. I kind of prefer it when it doesn't look too sharp. So I like to just go back and just do like one last sort of smudge under the eyes now that the concealer's done because there's not enough pigment on the brush that it will kind of spill down or anything. Because the eye look is obviously quite intense, I feel like for me I like to keep the blush in the same colour family as what we used in our previous video. I will link it up here if you haven't seen the previous look we did. Um, so I'm just going back to the same M Cosmetics Rose Milk. This is their colour serum um, liquid blush. And I'm just using about one drop and I'm just going to add the tiniest bit more definition. But I don't want it to kind of take away or distract from the eye. So I'm just kind of fanning it through with this uh, ColourPop brush, the F5 Small Fluffy brush. And just giving a tiny bit more shape, but as you can see, it's so, so subtle. And there's still like a really nice translucency to it. So it still lets everything be about the eye. And then you can just kind of stipple anywhere you want to add a bit more intensity. I think to suit Kristen's face shape, I want it kind of higher up on the cheek, just like that to give a little bit of shape. And then just to finish, I'm gonna go with this, uh, this is the Dior lip palette, and I'm taking this shade. And I go there. <laughs> <laughs> and close your lips to me. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of that over the lips, pat it on with my finger, because I do like the color we had on for the previous video as well. Just think this gives a slight bit more of a polished finish look. And again, I'm just gonna kind of buff it through with my finger so it doesn't look too done. So I wanted to show you, that's how I would finish it off if I was just going for the eye, or even just lip balm would look cool. I feel like if you've already got quite a bit of pigment in your lips, kind of work with that and use that to your advantage. But I feel like I do want to show you more is more, just so we can put the two side by side and you guys can tell us, would you be the eye girl? Would you be the eye and lip girl? So we're going to add a lip to this, Kristen. We are. We're going to go all out. Um, and I love these. These are the rat Ratro? Ratro? <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Retro. 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 These are the retro. Um, these are the retro matte liquid lipstick colours from MAC. And I really, really like their metallic colours. I'm not a metallic person unless it's matte metallic. Don't know why. I just feel like with lips, if it dries down to a really, really matte finish, then I'm into it. 
Um, and I just think this is really fun. So I'm going to start first, kind of getting most of the colour as kind of covered onto the lip as possible without worrying about any edges. I feel like if you kind of go for the bits first. And this is such a beautiful pinky kind of colour. And then I want you to do your best blot again for me. Go on, get in there. That's it. Beautiful. Okay, then I'm going in with a lip brush. I feel like you have to get as much over your lip as you can. And I'm going to turn you that way a little bit for me. And then I'm going to start with a lip brush. Because I think when we, work, when we worked together the first time, actually, we did lips, didn't we? We did. And it was, I think it was actually one of these, but it was like a really beautiful, like, russet kind of brown colour. Mm -hmm. Which actually looked really, really bomb. Yeah, it was beautiful. And to do the same again. I'm going to add a bit more red to this, though, actually, because I think it can take it. Um, so I'm going to take Dear Dahlia in Seduction. I'm just going to put some of this into the centre and then blend it in. So we are going to lose actually a bit of the metallic vibe, but I do love the colour of this metallic lip. Yes, that's what I wanted. Sometimes you have to mix textures and mix colours to get to the point where you know it's the right one. And there is like a little bit of sheen that still comes through actually from the metallic, but because it's more of a matte finish, I think it actually looks more intense now. And I love the way that looks with the eyes. So good. So that's the finished look, guys. That is our more is more. Thank you so much, Kristen, for letting me borrow your face again. Pleasure as always. Um, give us a thumbs up if you guys like this. Um, would love it if you guys subscribe. Don't forget to follow me at Harry Makes Up for more kind of IGTVs and Instagram lives, etc. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.